What's up, everybody? It's Boy Mean here. I'm gonna have to open up my window. I'm extra tall because I'm wearing my, my boots. For breakfast, I had some quinoa salad. For lunch, I had um, food. I'll elaborate. And uh, for dinner, I had um, McDonald's slash leftover um, French dip. So let me elaborate on all of this. Um, I'll also talk about the Apple event because um, everybody's very interested in, in my in my Apple takes, you know. Um, hold on. I need to check something. Okay. Um, for, yeah, so I woke up at six um, and then I, uh, I ate some quinoa salad, I had two cans of coffee, and um, then I got everything ready, I got my laptop and my backpack, and I went off to um, basically orientation for college. Um, so I showed up, um, I showed up about 31 minutes early, so I was just sitting on the table, uh, sitting at a chair. I um, got to the canvas and I walked into one of the buildings um, that I think was holding it. I was like, hey, is this the thing for orientation? And they're like, for so-and-so? And I was like, yes. And they're like, um, yeah, just sit here and wait. There are two other students sitting there and waiting. So yeah, I just, I just waited there. Eventually way more people showed up. It packed the whole whole place. And uh, so there was this lady up front and you know, um, she talked basically about program that gives us two free years of college and uh, what it's like and then there are four students uh, up there who would went to the college and they just talked about the vibe they talked about how it was um, and yeah uh, and then after that um, we went to we were split up into six groups and we um, I went to uh, a classroom where um, it was this guy and he was teaching an introduction of programming like computer science class and it, it just the teacher was there, right? And uh, so he was showing off his syllabus and like what a class syllabus would look like in college and uh, generally like what, for example, his class would look like. And, you know, I'm not gonna be taking his class first quarter, but, um, you know, uh, you know, just like, just what the vibe is, you know? Um, and, you know, I, I hate to say this, but um, the stereotype about computer science students is true. Um, you know, I don't think, I'm, I don't think I'm that weird at all. I don't think I'm that weird. And no offense to anybody else, but you know, um, I wasn't the biggest fan of a lot of people in that classroom. That's all I'm saying. Um, but you know, they were also cool. Like, you know, like, you know, I, I, like I didn't actively dislike them, but um, you know, you know what I'm saying. There is a stereotype and you hear people talk about computer science students and I didn't know what they meant because I would be a computer science student, right? But, um, you know, I get, I get what they mean now, but also, I don't care. Um, yeah, uh, what else? Yeah, so then we went back up, and that took like an hour. Uh, then we went back up, um, then we had lunch, and that was pretty much, um, there was a whole bunch of food. There was Hawaiian mac, Aroni salad. There were two types of tacos. Um, I don't know what the two types were, but they were both very tasty. One of them was beef, one of them was something else. Um, there was kimchi fried rice. There was, um, what else? There were like sliders with like uh, pulled pork in them and they were very tasty and they were on like Hawaiian rolls. Um, I think it was catering from like this restaurant, but you know, all the food is very good. Um, it wasn't very good. It was like good food, you know, it was better than like McDonald's. Um, and I can directly compare to McDonald's because I had McDonald's today, but um, you know, it was good food. Uh, yeah, um, and then uh, once we did that, we went to, we went and did a tour and you know, we just hung around, did tour things. We, we looked around the school, you know. Uh, apparently there's a library under construction and there's a temporary, very tiny library um, but the new library will be goaded, so, you know, uh, it'll be ready in, like, January or February, which I'm, I don't know, I'm fine with. 
uh, what else? Um, then after that, um, we went to a classroom and we got signed up for all the things that like we need the first day. Um, so we got like, like Canvas. I don't know if that's a thing that people use. Um, and then, um, yeah, after that, that was, um, that was pretty much it. Uh, oh wait. Yeah, then after that we went to like a fair, and the fair was basically like, like a jobs fair, sort of. I didn't really look at any of the jobs because I know what job I want, but, um, you know, there uh, we got our transportation cards, our free transportation cards via the scholarship program, and um, uh, I met a guy who was also into Linux. Uh, I insisted that he took line in front of me and he very nicely asked what I was majoring in. I said, oh, I'm doing this network and server administration associates degree with like, for, for IT, degree, IT certifications. And he was like, um, and I was like, you know, I did it because, you know, I was really into Linux. And he was like, oh, I'm into Linux. I actually am running Linux on my laptop. And I said, oh, I'm running Linux on my laptop. And he said, oh, what distro? And I said, Arch. And he said, oh, I'm running Pop OS. And, you know, Pop OS is cool. I, I, you know, I've never used Pop OS. I've used Debian-based distros. I've used Ubuntu. I've used Debian. I've used Raspbian. Um, but, uh, you know, I've never daily driven a Debian-based distro. So um, we just talked about, like, the difference between Debian-based distros and, like, Arch-based distros. And we also generally just talked about, like, interesting Linux stuff. It, like, it's weird to know someone who, like, sort of knows about Linux independently from you. Uh, and of course, there are millions of people who know about Linux independently from me, but like, you know, it's, it's weird, you know, cause my, my whole time, you know, throughout high school, I'm the only person I've known who's like into Linux and like using computers and stuff like, like the specific stuff I'm into, right? Um, and then I go to college, right? And then I'm like in a classroom of people who are like, oriented around the things that I'm interested in. And then there are people who are interested in the things I am interested in. And are like, oh, oh, you're into Arch. You know, when I tell them I'm using Arch on my computer, and they're like, oh, you're using i3 when I'm telling them I'm using i3. And it's just so interesting. It's it's really, it's a really weird feeling. Um, but yeah, I made a new friend. And, you know, I got his phone number, so cool. Um, and I also met uh, his friend, so I'm friends with him now. Um, yeah, they're, they're cool people. They're cool. Uh, and then on the train home, I took the one, I took the one train, um, in my city. I took the one train in my city, and then I, from there I took the bus home, and, uh, I also took the train there. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, on the way home, I looked at the Apple event, and I found out about the Apple things. Um, the 15 is very cool. I'm happy they're moving the 48 megapixel camera, uh, not only on the pro versions, but also to the normal 15. Uh, and I'm also happy that the default is now 24 megapixels instead of 12 megapixels for iPhone cameras, because respectfully, 12 megapixels looks really ugly. I, I don't like, I don't like the absurdly low, low resolution of a 12 megapixel photo. So I'm happy it's gonna be 24 megapixels pretty much across the board. Um, they said there's going to be a megapixel increase on the ultra wide and macro camera. I don't think that ended up happening, but there is five times zoom on the macro camera. Of course, there's USB C on all the iPhone models. They introduced a new model of the AirPods Pro second generation with USB C in the case. So that's cool. And, um, you know, generally they're going to be transitioning to USB C everywhere, and I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I actually, today, I bought the USB C cable that they announced today. Well, they didn't announce a USB-C cable, but uh, the iPhones are gonna come with these braided USB-C cables. Um, and I just bought one, because I've been on the hunt for USB-C cables that I can charge my laptop with, like nice USB-C cables. Um, and Anchor has one, but you know, it's just, you know, I'm spoiled by Apple cables. I almost exclusively interact with Apple cables with the cables I interact with day to day, right? Um, and so when I look at any other cable, it just doesn't look as nice, you know? So I'm happy. Apple released a cable that will charge my laptop and is good. It's a good cable, so I, I bought it. Um, what else? I'm happy they have the, the action button on the Pro models. That's cool. Certainly better than the mute switch. Um, it's cool. 
Uh, I have the 14 Pro Max right now, so I'm probably not going to be upgrading to the 15 Pro Max. Uh, but when the 16 comes out, maybe I'll upgrade to that. If they increase the megapixel count on the ultra wide, uh, I could imagine upgrading to the 16. But you know. Um, oh, also titanium on the Pros. Uh, the Pro iPhones are titanium, and that's cool. 10% lighter, it's cool. Um, all right, see you, dude. Yeah, okay, that's it. Okay, see you, dude.